Dear friends, following on from the introductory video, this is video two, which is looking at angelology and the tree of life. But first, it's important that I step out so that the energies of the Archangel Metatron can speak through me to your heart. And now we reflect, Father, Mother, God, creator of all living beings, all universal light force energy. We come to you today and in the name of the barefoot Galilean Jesus, we ask that the Spirit of God will come upon us and that we will become open and receptive to what Archangel Metatron is trying to say to all of us through this short video. Thank you. The tree of life, as we know, represents all that is in alignment with living. It is a symbol and a reality that serves to remind us of the importance of everything and how it all works together to serve the betterment of the whole person. Imagine a tree taking root in your own garden or backyard as it is fed by the rains of the heavens, the warmth of the sun and the nutrients of the soil, and the circle of shedding the old and bearing the new, we can see the creator God Goddess at work. The tree of life not only signifies the mechanics of God, but also the compassion of a loving creator, father, mother God. It provides shade and protection. It hears fruit, forgive me, it bears fruit that will nourish us and in many cases offers its whole being to us for our sustenance in our spiritual search for truth. The tree of life touches every global community and penetrates every religion known to mankind. It has a physiological blueprint, yes it does, that parallels the universal law of seven in every facet of its existence. Like the seven chakras, the seven archangels and the seven octaves, the tree of life has seven branches that represent a union of all that is supported by the trunk and this represents our strength and diversity in acknowledging the many different aspects of ourselves. The branches are seven and seen as male and female and they are the lowest our first branch symbolizes our body self, our sense of wellness, the second is an expression of our personality. Its vitality determines how well we receive, how well we are received and perceived by others. The third branch represents our relationship with the divine and how easily we are able to connect. The fourth branch signifies our thirst for knowledge. And the fifth branch is called the void. Why is that? Its health facilitates an understanding of the collective consciousness of oneness. The sixth branch represents one truth, our truth, the essence of who we are, the I am. And the seventh and final branch like the crown chakra, is the primary portal or connection to the divine, allowing one to explore that which is not attached or of the physical body. Keeping our own tree of life healthy is vital if we are to be productive instruments of God. But most importantly, the thing to remember is that the tree of life represents the highest degree 
of the world's existence, the position of the Word of God and the supreme manifestation. It's no wonder so many are driven to save the trees on this beloved planet. Each leaf that flourishes as a result of our love is legions of angels governed by the likes of the Magnificent Seven Archangels in our presence, who are committed to sustaining our significance and the integrity with which they were created. So we've mentioned seven and the codes of the Archangel Metatron are seven. Seven codes that are important for our DNA within our soul. The soul's DNA is an important part of who we are because when we were born we agreed as part of our sacred contract that we would be Essenes of the Therapeutae family and that's why there's a strong familiarity with brothers and sisters who've joined Heart to Soul, Prayer Partners for Peace, initiated by Mother Earth and the Teo community of St. Francis because we come to God the Supreme Source through the natural world incorporating the Tree of Life in our spiritual search for truth. And you'll notice around me I'm wearing the symbol, the Teo symbol, which represents you and me with our arms outstretched, saying to the Supreme Source, Here I am. Use my mind, my body, my spirit. Allow me to become the tree of life in your, the Creator's garden. So as the tree of life takes root in our heart and we come back into prayer, we are strengthened by the training we received in that former lifetime 8,000 years ago. And throughout our many lives, we know that in one of them, we were schooled by Jesus and Magdalena, the high priestess of Isis. And they asked us, would we return into this most difficult of incarnations and be light bearers for the Christ consciousness? So to do this, our former training as brother and sister of scenes, incorporating the tree of life, the seven healing codes, together with the seven keys of Franciscan spirituality, when all married together, they create a vortex of light within our being, where our mind, our body, and our higher self are all intertwined, interconnected, and they all come to the divine connectedness in a place of balance where we are grounded, where we are protected, and where we are nurtured by the Earthly Mother. So we celebrate now the resurfacing of Metatron's healing codes, which are not in competition with Enoch or Moses or even Jesus. In fact, it incorporates all but bringing them into the 21st century for you and I to understand the simplicity inherent within each key. I thank you for watching this video and I look forward to explaining more in the videos to come. Thank you for your time. Namaste.